<clears throat> Miguel Angel, how are you? Alex. Milton, Maria, loves, how are you? Hi, teacher, how are you? So, so. Hey, I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I, think, um, I think I'm going good to evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Good evening, Maria Los. Good evening, Milton. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay. Good. Very good. You're you, ready for today? What? Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, good, good. So before we begin, any questions? Unit one or unit two? About the exam? Uh, before the exam, uh, about the units, unit one or unit two, before we begin the exam? Um, no, I don't have a question. No, I, I finished. I finished the exam too. Teacher, yes. Only, only question the the exam. I don't remember what the number, but is when I the you can use the the word ignore, uh, mm -hmm. deal with, aggravate, and then you 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 need to put a. Uh, uh, is at the, at the end ignore its deals. Why? Why the reason? Okay, tell me again, Milton. What, what is the question? Uh, in the I I don't remember what is, what is the exercise because is the the answer is the word a voice or ignore. Um, cows, and then the answer is causes, mm -hmm. ignores, and is, what, how do you say, añadir, add, uh, add, 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 S, add, S. Yes. Uh, what is the reason the, 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 add, uh, is, uh, at the end? Third person. Yes, third person, yes. Ah, okay, okay. In, is he, is he say uh, when the word aggravate, 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 aggravated, 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 no, no, it is, it is, it is, 
is 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 for third three person for third person yes ah okay mm -hmm. okay yes. I, I i have a problem with uh, with uh, the 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 exam but i finally i i i have this it is good but yeah. i have i have a do a doubt a doubt no? mm -hmm. yes yes okay teacher thank you you are welcome. Like, so remember, I have a problem oh, with mm -hmm. with the with this part because I wrote aggravates, but the answer platform is aggravated. I don't know why. It's in the past. No. Yes, in it's in past. I don't know why. Okay. I don't know. So it depends. But remember, always for he, she, and it, always we add the s. Is necessary to have an S. Yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Only that, Milton? Only, only teacher. Is okay. uh I finally the exam. Okay. All right, Milton. We're, we're gonna do do you finish the exam. Yeah, I finished. I finished the exam. This okay. Good, good, good. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and get started then. So as we can see. I'll share my screen with you and then we'll take a look at the exam. So we have several sections in the exam. There's actually only four parts, right? We have, a, or sorry, five. We have A, B, C, and D. That's it, only those four. And we have listening, which is the first part. There are two listenings and you have to answer both of them with the information from the audio. Then we have choose the word, which is the word that is here. You have to use it in the correct form. That's the idea, okay? The same thing in part two, you have to complete the sentence with the, with the correct model. For example, should, could, must, might. It could be in positive or negative, depending on the situation, okay? So the verbs and then the models, that's part two. Part three is here, you have to practice your spelling. You have to spell it correctly. Uh, you need to put in the word in the, the correct form to complete the sentence. I think this is what uh, Milton was asking about the word aggravate, cause, deal, things like that. Okay. This is typing in the words. And then in the second part is just selecting the correct word. Sure. Yes. Um, and Milton asked the, about this word aggravate. I have the, the same mistakes, but you only write the only the word aggravate. Oh, I don't know because I I wrote aggravate in in, in this part, but marks like a mistake. I don't know how do how if I am bad or I don't know how do you write the the word. Depend the situation is how you write with S, no S, E, D, or I, N, G. Mm -hmm. So you have to remember that if it's a third person, he, she, or it, all of the words always have S. Uh, yes, yes. Is, is the, th the third person because mm -hmm. the, the sentence says he'll don't always um, aggravate his problem worse. Because it's talking about heal in uh -huh. the third person. And that I think that I have to write aggravate, but the platform might be like a mistake. Oh, okay. So maybe it's the wrong word and you need to use a different word. No, aggravates. What other but, word was it? It's in this but, section. Uh, it's in the section 2.5. 2.5. .5. Okay, let's take a look one more time. Yes, please. Thank you. In the, in the sense, yes, in the sentence number four. Yes. Ah, but this one we did in class. Yes. You guys, do you, you, yes. may, do you guys remember? No? Okay. No. Yes, yes we were aggravated. Yes, all of these we did in yes. class. This is no aggravates, you see? That's the problem. The problem is you're not using the correct word. It's okay? Okay. 
but uh, why is the correct? Only in the number four. Right there. Only the number four. No. Aggravating. Because it says, never does anything about. This is not aggravate. No, it is no, number, number four. four. Number four, okay. Ding ah, okay, always. okay. Yes, I'm bad. Thank mm -hmm. you. Aggravated, yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Good, any other questions? In the mid, in the midterm, I have the same problem. In, in this section? Um, Let's see. I find the section is C. Mm -hmm. Is in the section C? I am in section C. C? Yes. Um, for example, in the first case is ignores with C at the end. With S. Yes, with S. Okay. Um, uh, number three uh, runs runs into a number five causes, but the uh, the rest of the answer um, any two word I put always uh, is bad. I, I don't know why. Uh, then you have to change the word the way you put it, maybe for ed, maybe for s, uh, in other forms, because you have to use the word or maybe just the base form, depending on the situation. Mm -hmm. Did you try putting the word in a different form? Okay, I'm going to, to try okay. after. No problem, no problem. All right. And then the final part, part D, here is a reading. Um, here, you're going to read and then put the, the words that you have right here in the, the best way to describe each person. Which word gives the description according to what they have here? So you're going to read and write down the two things. You're going to have a, and you can see you have three readings. Well, really two readings. Two readings where you have to read the information and find the and find it from there from the text and the other one is you have to rewrite the sentence using the correct vocabulary for the reading it's okay uh, teacher yeah. i i have a last question in the part part b b um part b part number 2 Part two? Yes. In the third sentence, we have to use, um, excuse me, I didn't do well on the exam. I could have gone out. I use, I could, all the, all the, all the options, could, should, should, most, and might, but, and I, I, all the, all the, all the verb are a mistake. I don't no, know. The, the verbs are not the mistake. It is, you have the mistake. It's not, ah, okay. it's not should, could, must, or might. Mm. Because it's, look, I didn't do well on the exam. And I could, I should, I might is not logical with have gone out the night before. Mm. Okay. What do you think you need to do? What do we need to do? I can't. Oh, no, 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 it's one of the verbs, but is you need to put in the past because, in the, sorry, in the negative, because negative. you didn't do well on the exam. It's no, uh, uh, no good I grade. Couldn't. I go out to the party. Yeah. No, you shouldn't go out to the party. You couldn't go. This is the idea. It's okay, guys? Okay, okay. Uh-huh, so it, it has to do because that is not logical your answer in the sentence because it's yes. not good grade. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will try with a negative form. All right. 
Any other questions? No, no questions? All right, good. In this moment, we're gonna make our groups and we're gonna complete this exam, okay? We have 20 minutes to complete the exam with your partner. Are you ready? ready. Okay. We don't think you need more time than that, but we can check. Let's see, 25, just to be safe, to make sure everybody has time because of the reading. Okay? Okay. okay. All right, let's do it. Milton, you okay?
Sergio, what happened? Hey, Katya, we are working on the exam. I'm going to put you in the group.
What happened, Katya? The internet. We try again.
Hey, Juan, did you have some problems?
Hello, teacher. Hey, hey, okay. I, okay, I think teacher forgot us. No, no, <laughs> okay. no, no. I'm I waiting for the people to finish. I That way we can, everybody is the same. And in Monday, we begin unit three together. Well, today we begin unit three, but it's okay. No questions. It's okay. Yes, no, yes, huh? Teacher. Yes. I can hear you well. I don't know if only in my case is this, it is the problem. Okay. No, it's, it's, I heard. Yes, you, you can hear me or no? No, no. Uh, to, in this moment, yes, but not. Not clearly. Not before. Not clearly, yeah. I don't, I don't listen. Before. Sometimes the, the image and sound of, uh, come freezing. Yes, sometimes. Okay. Yes. yes. Very clear. Okay. Sure. Yes. I want a question. What the correct pronunciation for the two words is right in the chat? Okay. New and new. It's the same. <laughs> new. The same pronunciation. New. Mm. Uh, I don't listen to the difference. <laughs> Is no difference. Is it is, is the same? Is the same. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You welcome. Pronunciation, teacher. It is, it is same. New, new or, or new? Correct. Is the same pronunciation. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys. So let's take a look. We are ready. We finished part two. So we finished uh, the midterm. Let's see. Okay. Any questions about any of these? Not really. No? No. no. Okay. No problem in the listening. In letter no. B, any questions, any of them that is not correct or you're not sure? I guess no, teacher. I guess not. Okay, good. All right. Let's go. Type uh, part three. Type in the words. It's okay. Did you find the mistakes? Yes, all of them are okay. It's okay, teacher. All right. Good. And the last one, the reading. No? No. Oh, not really. All right, perfect then. That means we are ready to begin our unit three. We're going to start on Monday, but today we're gonna to take a look at the objective, okay? Let's read a little bit about what we're going to learn in unit three. Alex, please read the objective. Okay. By the end of the lesson, participants will know how to identify and use relative and noun relative clauses. Okay. So really that the idea of relative clauses is just, you can think more information. That's it, it's more information. So you add the information to the sentence. So for example, Alex is a student, that's a sentence, but I need more information. Alex is a student that works at, uh, at DECA, for example. That is the idea for the relative clauses, is more information. So we're going to watch a small video to help us, and then we can get or we can learn a little bit about how to describe it. Welcome to a new section. Are you ready to give essential or optional information about someone or something? We hope you still remember how to do it. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. A defining relative clause defines or gives essential information about a noun. New Orleans is a city where people go to celebrate Mardi Gras. 
Salvador is famous for food and music that trace their origins to Africa. A non-defining relative clause gives optional information about a noun. Notice the use of commas. Seoul, which hosted the 1988 Summer Olympics, is well known for its shopping. There are many temples and shrines in Kyoto, which used to be the capital of Japan. Defining relative clauses function like adjectives because they add information about a noun or a noun phrase. They must always immediately follow the noun they describe. <clears throat> they give essential information about the noun. People like to go to restaurants that have can, good food. I can I hear, teacher? No. Non-defining relative I'm clauses. Sure non You don't hear. Let's try again. It's freezing screen. Yeah. Okay. Let me try it one more time. Non-defining relative clauses also describe a noun but the information they give is not essential. They are set off by comma. Now, yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Thomas, that restaurant which has good food is the most popular one in town. Just to help you out a bit, look at the following charts. They are used in defining and non-defining relative clauses. Come up with your own sentences and ask your teacher to check them out for you. Okay. So this is the important part. These are the things that we use. When we are going to talk about people, we use who, only who. When we talk about things, or we can only use which. You see? People, only who. Things, only which. Okay, and also we can also use the other ones. Here they have that, but the reality is you can use that for people or for things. Yeah. So the idea is only to give extra information, okay? I like pizza. What pizza? I live in a city. What city? Okay, I have a wife. What's happened with the wife? I study. Okay, what? That, that is the idea of the relative clauses. It's okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. This is to help us so that on Monday we have the idea of how we're going to use it. In this moment, we're going to talk about our plans for the weekend. So as an example, what do you want to do? Where are you going to go? Who are you going to go with? Uh, do you do this frequently? Okay. So we're going to have just small groups, just a few moments with our partners. And we want to talk about your plans for the weekend. Okay. What are you going to do? And where, with who? And is it normal or not normal?
Okay, guys. So we are ready for our weekend. We are finished with the exam. We don't have to worry about, I, I have to do the test. I, the next, no, no, no. We are ready to relax and begin on Monday, unit three. Yes or yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Very good. All right, very good. Guys. I have a lot of doubts about the, the unit three. Don't worry, yes. we're, going, we're going to tomorrow, practice together on Monday. Relax on the beach, teacher. <laughs> exactly, okay, teacher. exactly. Happy tomorrow, and Friday, Saturday, Sunday, relax. Monday, it's mm, it's we work. It's for the Father's Day. Have uh, a yes, weekend. Yes, 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 for next week. See you, Monday. Thank you. See you, Monday, guys. Bye-bye. See you, Monday. See you, Monday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.